Okay, so we've found the midpoint given the um, two endpoints. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to find a missing endpoint uh, when we're giving the other endpoint and uh, the midpoint. So, um, this is the example that we're going to work with. Um, I've also got the formula we've been using to find the midpoint up here because we are going to use this. So, um, we've got point A here and we've got the midpoint M here and we're going to be looking for point B which would be somewhere up here won't it um, so uh, the coordinates of A are 2 1 and the coordinates of M are 5 5 I'm just going to label them there now essentially what we've been what's happened is we've been given the answer which is M we're going to need to work backwards so what I can do is I can form an equation from our formula that will allow us to substitute in these values and solve so what we're going to do is we're going to actually split it up so we're going to look at the x and we're going to say the x which is our midpoint 5 equals x1 plus x2 all over 2 so I can actually form an equation for that so I'm going to do that now up here so I'm going to say x equals um, let's still call it x1 and x2 it would have been nice to change the letters, but we don't need to do that all over 2. Now, we can also do the same for y, so I might just do that at the same time, and then we can solve them parallel. So y equals y1 plus y2 all over 2. Okay, so now we know that the midpoint, our x solution is 5, so on the line below I'm going to substitute in 5 for x. I'm going to put that in brackets to show I've substituted that in. I'm also going to substitute in x1. Uh, so we're going to substitute in the 2 of a into there. So I'm going to write 2 in brackets again to show it's come in. Plus x2 all over 2. Um, so we'll, we'll work on this one first. So I've got uh, 5 equals 2 plus something all over 2. Now, order of operations says that we can't get rid of uh, anything in, in that top half of the fraction. We need to multiply by 2 to eliminate that all over 2. So, you can use your arrows if you want to, and we're balancing equations, which means that we have to do the same thing to both sides. So, times both sides by 2, that's going to give me 10 equals 2 plus x2 there. Yeah. So we're nearly there, and remember we're looking for that missing x coordinate of b, which is this x2. So uh, the final step is I'm going to get rid of the part we know, so we're going to subtract 2 from both sides in order to leave that x2 on its own. So 10 take away 2 is 8. 8 equals x2. I can rewrite that as x2 equals 8. So we know that the coordinate, the x coordinate for b is 8. And I'm going to underline that with my spiky line to show that's part of my solution. Now we're going to do the same thing on the right hand side. So again, I know the y coordinate, that's the y coordinate for m. So again, it's going to be 5 in brackets to show that you are substituting it in. And we know that y1 equals 1. So I'm going to do a 1 in brackets plus y2 all over 2. Now it's the exact same process, so we're going to times both sides by 2, or we'll multiply both sides by 2, to leave me with 1 plus y of 2, y2, sorry, equals 10. I will put my arrows in just to show what we've done. And then we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. That's going to leave me with 9 equals um, y2 and then we could just write that as y2 equals 9 so the coordinates for b is x is 8 and y is 9 okay and we're going to plot that on my graph now so we're going to go along to 8 and all the way up 
to nine. Now, if you need to use a ruler just to make sure you don't make any mistakes, so you could go across the way like this, and then all the way up to nine. So this is B, and the question may well tell you to plot B once you've found its coordinates. So B, A, nine. Now, if this works, we should be able to just check it by connecting those dots. If you've got it out, then they won't connect in the line. Um, so there we go, we've solved the first one. Now we're going to